Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCBRO Labs. For more information and to download the source code of this video, you can visit us at www.jcbrolabs.org. Uh, we also provide online training, help in technical assignments. We also do freelance projects based on embed system, machine learning, data science, Python, MATLAB, control system, etc. So if you have any such requirement, then you can let us know by contacting us through our website, which is www.jcbrolabs.org or you can also mail us at jcbrolabs at gmail.com okay. so in this video we will talk about how to uh, plot a uh, serial time serial data in matlab so it many times occurs like you have created a small hardware uh, with some sensors and you want to plot that particular data on a matlab uh, on a matlab uh, graph in real time so we will learn how to do that so we will also learn how to access the serial port in matlab and then do all the plotting okay so open matlab okay so let's close extra files okay we will create a new file first and we'll set to uh, current working folder to desktop okay okay so let's first save this file <coughs> uh, serial plot okay so first of all close all and then clear all saved it okay let's clear all it okay so now prior to moving forward let's first introduce to our hardware which we are using uh, to send a serial data so you could have a Arduino or any other serial device instead of this hardware. So here is our hardware. Uh, here we have this STM32. Uh, STM, this is STM32 F11 microcontroller, and we write a serial uh, serial communication program into it. So it is continuously sending a analog data uh, into it. So in order to test this analog data, we have used this particular potentiometer. So from this potentiometer, we can vary the voltage which is going to be read by this board. So first of all, we can see how our data is coming up. OK, so for that, we can use any uh, serial uh, monitor program. So here we are using a Teratron, which is generally used for uh, communication port. So I hope you also know whenever you connect a serial port. So there is a, uh, a particular COM address which is assigned to it. And you, uh, you can also see that particular port from here. Go to my computer, right click and click on manage. Okay. So from here, if you click on it, uh, it will open up uh, device manager. Okay, and here in the device manager, you can uh, see it. Here it, it comes as the ports. So in ports, uh, if USB to serial converter, whatever it is connected, that means a serial port is connected to it or serial port has been assigned to it. A corresponding COM address is assigned to it. So currently my COM address is COM 17. So this number has to be remembered. So now it is directly saying, uh, directly showing this COM17, uh, this teratron, and OK. And now we have to send the baud rate. So go to setup serial port, baud rate is 115200. OK. So now you can see uh, this is the data which is coming up uh, at the serial port from this microcontroller. So right now the voltage is uh, 1.8. And let's see if we change the voltage by varying this uh, potentiometer. So you can see the voltage is being changed. Now it is 0 0.98. Okay. So this is how serial data is coming. All the values are coming as in, as a next line. Okay. So now we'll learn how to plot this data on MATLAB. So let's close it and open MATLAB. So we have visualized our data. So MATLAB, first of all, we have to create a serial object. Okay, so serial object can be created by, uh, there's a command serial, 
as equals to serial in this we have to first provide the com address from where we want to read the data so as i just show you like uh, shown you it is com 17 and then we have to provide the baud rate so baud rate and it is 115200 okay and then we have to open the serial port open serial port okay so now we have to open serial port there is a command f open so without opening a serial port we can't read the data f open as so if serial port is available this will be open so let's first uh, test these two commands whether these commands are working okay so as you to serial port okay and then f open s yeah a serial port has been opened and now we can read data from serial port so read data so there is a command like f scan f okay so this particular command reads a complete line from a serial port and return as a character type so we'll learn uh, that particular command from here so let's say a equals to f scan f s uh, because it is a serial object okay so this a has been created here now it's a type if you look uh, if you look at it is a character type okay so we have to convert it into a, a double number so that's why we will write like a equals to uh, str2 double and then f scan f of s okay so now it is a uh, exact number now you may be wondering like on the Terra term we were seeing like uh, uh, we, we have seen it was showing uh, a 0 point something uh, voltage but right now it is showing 1.36 that is because uh, there is a 512 byte of memory so if we are not reading it it got appended into that uh, serial buffer okay so if we are reading right now it uh, it uh, uh, it uh, it uh, reading the previous values and the new values are not getting into the serial buffer so in order to remove that we have another command like flush input and then s so it creates uh, flushes all the values and then give us a new value okay so right now it is 1.3660 okay so let's clc <coughs> now uh, we will using these two commands in order to plot it so we will be read reading the data and then we will be plotting it so for that we will be uh, uh, now we already know like how to read the data now we will be plotting the data in real time okay so let's make a plot so we will creating a while loop infinite while loop okay and then and so we will create a uh, array data okay so let's just directly read it so data um, of i because we want to uh, plot it continuously so we will initialize i equals to 1 here data i equals to str string to double and then okay let's minimize it a little bit str to double and then we have to write f scan f uh, of s okay yeah, fine and then we will be simply writing plot data uh, because it will be a very fast so we need to provide a small pause into it so that we can visualize on the plot so pause 0 0.01 okay and then we can increment the value of i i equals to i plus one okay now one thing we should know like uh, currently we have opened this uh, serial port data so we have to close it otherwise if we want to open again a uh, op uh, previously opened uh, serial port it will throw an error so f close yes. okay so it is a kind of an infinite loop so we have to press ctrl c into it in order to do that 
So let's first test it whether it is working or not. Okay. Okay, it is uh, displaying data. Let's change the value. Okay, so when I am changing it, voltage is being changed. Okay, yeah. So if I move it fast, it is recording all the data. So you can put any other sensor here. Now you may have wondered like it is changing from 0 0.2 to 2.2. .2, so we can also uh, uh, remove this particular problem. Okay, prior to that, I have to stop this. So press Control C here. Okay, now we have pressed Control C. Remember, so your port is not closed. So first thing we will do, we will close the port. So F close. Yeah, it's done. Uh, there are also several commands like uh, if you are doing it first time. So there is a INST uh, find. So this particular command uh, from the workspace history tells about all the ports which we have opened and closed uh, and their status. So if any port has been opened but not closed, status will be showing here as open. So then you can uh, close this entire amount like uh, uh, this all this data is gone into answer. So you can simply write like uh, uh, F, uh, F open so you can write like F close answer so this is a case uh, if you have opened and forward to close it and open try to open another port so you can use that particular command here so I was talking about like uh, this y axis of this plot is varying with the data so we can fix it okay so we can put a y limb here all right and we can make it because maximum value in our data is going to 3.5 so we can write 0 to 3.5 here okay so let's run it okay so it's fixed and now let's change some values okay it is showing uh, values being displayed perfectly so this particular data is being shown in real time so you can uh, this particular serial data can be from Arduino or some other device or whoever can send uh, serial data to the port. Now there is a one uh, problem if you have uh, looked at it like uh, each time uh, a new data is coming up so it is shifting and it is displaying the entire data. Now what we want to do we want to display a portion of the data only and it should be like a running display. So let's say if I have created 150 samples recorded and so those 150 samples should be shown to us and it should be a running kind of display. So uh, in that sense uh, there will be not uh, much uh, burden on this plot command as well because it takes uh, every time it is plotting so it is uh, taking a lot of burden on it in terms of the processing power. So let's first close it okay. and then F close and then S. So what can we do? <clears throat> we can create an array uh, of 100 numbers only, right? Uh, and then uh, we either can, so there are two ways. Either we can create an array or we can uh, display the data in the entire array or we can uh, display only those values only 150 values we want to display right so what should we do hmm. okay so if i is greater than we can uh, make a command here if i is less than 150 right then display this one okay uh, entire data else plot because now uh, because we want to plot uh, 150 samples there are several ways to do that we can create a window kind of 150 or we this one uh, I just think about like it could be an easy one so we can think about like uh, uh, so instead of uh, plotting the entire data we will be plotting and minus 150 to end okay so we can write like plot data because it is a single vector 
so we can write like and minus 150 okay so it should be like equals to because for 150 it will be one so from one to and right so through this I hope it should work so let's test it so right now uh, as I think it should display only 150 samples only and then it will be looks like a uh, moving uh, moving graph or a running graph so let's run it okay so let's change the value so that we can see it. 160 samples have been added 80 90 Uh, now you see here now it is a running graph okay so here it is it works perfectly so now if we change it you can visualize uh, the data in real time okay so I think this um, line is very so also let's change the property of the line to 1.5 so a little bit uh, thicker so line should be a little bit thicker so let's change it and f close yes okay so we change it to comma line width to 1.5 and the same thing we'll uh, do here comma line width of 1.5 okay so that is it so uh, this is our program complete program you can have a look again so let's run it one more time yeah, let's. okay so let's run it okay so it is showing now line is three. Okay, now I'm changing it. The data is getting changed. And now it is a running display. This is the maximum value is three volt and gets to the minimum one here. So the response is quite good. Uh, so as I'm changing it, the corresponding change has been observed. Okay. 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 So you can use it in your program. So I hope you liked the video and you learn a lot uh, from this video about how to plot uh, a real-time uh, serial data in MATLAB graph and how to visualize. Uh, running kind of graph. So if you have any if you have any suggestion or any comment uh, for this video So you can let us know by commenting below this video Okay further we also provide online training help in technical assignments We also do freelance project based on data science Python machine learning embedded system uh, Designing real-time system etc. So if you have any such requirement, then you can let us know by contacting us through our website, which is www.jcbrolabs.org, or you can also mail us at jcbrolabs at gmail.com. So that's it for this video. Thank you.